Yeah, it's a similar feeling across Virginia as Cavs fans probably didn't get a whole <laughs> lot of sleep last night. No, you know who else didn't get a whole lot of sleep? Jessica Jewell, who is live from Charlottesville. The streets packed with thousands of people not that long ago. <laughs> Did you sleep at all last night? We sure didn't, Jenna. Carter and I, the photographer, we didn't sleep at all. But, you know, it was so exciting. The streets were packed with thousands of people. It's hard to imagine it now, but try to picture thousands of fans rushing the corner here, trying to get to downtown Charlottesville to celebrate that historic moment. A few hours ago, you couldn't even see across the street, and now it's empty. All the glass is cleared away. Some of the trash is still left behind, but hey, this downtown has come a long way, and you know else who has come a long way? The Who's going from an embarrassment last year to the champions this year. We're trying to figure out the words to describe what that magical moment was like here in Charlottesville last night for you, but we're going to let the sights and sounds speak for themselves. You know, this is what we needed to get the name back up there. And it's even higher than we could have expected. We've, we've gone from meme to national championship. I mean, That's there, there's no better comeback story than this. Hard work, dedication, and Tony Bennett gets you a national championship. Let's go Hoos! That's the recipe for success, apparently. You heard a lot of common themes there. Redemption, comeback. Another one we heard last night, unity. People are talking about how this is much bigger than just UVA, but really uniting the whole city of Charlottesville and saying they haven't seen this community this strong in a long time. Jenna and Patrick. And really the entire Commonwealth after what we've been through this year. Yeah. Now, Jessica, these celebrations, they get very crazy. crazy. I guess it's a good word to call it. Did anything get overly out of hand or any trouble that you saw on the streets last night? Well, it's hard to say trouble because everybody was having a lot of fun. There were a lot of first responders standing by in case anything did get out of hand. But you saw in that video where people were climbing on the street poles and that was kind of scary. But I mean, they were having fun. And I will tell you, I told you guys this before, my photographer Carter and I uh, got caught in what they call the crunch when you are body to body with everybody and you can't move and you're just being swayed by how everybody else is moving. Some pieces fell off the camera, oh, so no. uh, that was a little difficult for us. <laughs> but, you know, for the most part, everybody had a great time celebrating just a really historic moment. Good. And can I just say, oh, to be a college student again after watching that? <laughs> <laughs> really? Betting a lot of them will not be in their 8 o'clock classes yeah. in about two hours from now. Thanks so much, Jess.